So this video really shows you how to measure very, very small distances, perhaps uh, the width of uh, the ice lolly that we have down here. Now, the first thing I'd like to use is a digital caliper. Now, when you turn these on, uh, the first thing to do is make sure that it is zeroed. If you don't do that at the beginning, then every time uh, you have a reading, there's going to be some error introduced. So first of all, I've zeroed it, uh, then I'm going to open it slightly, and I'm going to use this to measure the diameter of uh, the ice lolly that we have in here. So if I just close it very, very gently, uh, the reading we get is 3.52 for that part of the ice lolly. Now, the other thing about this, although we can maybe measure the width of things using uh, the slider here, there's also a part on the back. Now, this is designed for measuring the internal diameter of something. So perhaps uh, how wide it is on the inside of the foot. And also at uh, the other end, uh, there's a thing that we can use to measure the depth. So if this comes out, this can then tell us maybe uh, how far those legs go in on the inside. So this is our digital caliper and it's pretty straightforward to use. What's a lot more tricky though, is this thing here. Now this thing here is a micrometer or effectively a micrometer. So this means we can measure very, very small distances. Now this one here is a bit more tricky to use and a bit more tricky to read. So uh, let's imagine that once again, we're gonna measure the diameter of this ice lolly. What we need to do is we need to put it uh, within this part here. Okay, I'm just gonna open the jaws up slightly. And rather than just uh, tightening in uh, using the kind of the big knurled grip over here, if you tighten that too much, what it's gonna do is going to deform the thing that you're measuring. So the way to actually take your reading is to use uh, the dial at the end. And as you put it in, you'll find that there's a certain point where you feel a bit of resistance. If you, if you uh, tighten it anymore, there's a small click. What we can then do is we can take the reading off this. So if we just zoom in on this, so this is the reading that we see on the micrometer. And uh, a point to note is that uh, these numbers around this part go up to 0 0.40, 45, and then back to zero. What that means is that one rotation of this part moves this part in and out by half a millimeter. And that's really important to note. So if I just uh, set that back again. Um, now the numbers down here, effectively we have, uh, these go up in half millimeter divisions. So at the moment, if we count it along, we've got uh, one, two, three and a bit millimeters. And the bit is equal to 0 0.20 of a millimeter, effectively where this line lines up with the number over here. If we were to maybe take it out by one full rotation, uh, then that means this is moved out by another half a millimeter. And now this is reading three, uh, then you have the half division and then uh, 0.20. So this would be equal to 3.70 millimeters. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. This is just something that you've got to find at school, have a play around with uh, and see how you get on. But if you, uh, if you want to have a go, what I'll do, I'll set this up to a couple of different values. Uh, you can have a go at trying to read it uh, and I'll put the answers uh, towards the end of the video. So here we go. This is reading number one. This is uh, reading number two. Okay, this one here gets a bit more tricky. This is reading number three. This one is reading number four. And finally, this is reading number five. So hopefully that made sense. Um, this is a caliper, this is a micrometer and you'll have something similar somewhere in your lab at school. And it is worth having a go with these, practicing, measuring these small distances. And if you do that uh, now, then it means that in the future, maybe when you need to maybe measure the diameter of a piece of wire, or whatever it might be in uh, one of your practicals, you'll have a bit more understanding about how to read this scale that we have down here.